Hello, this is HK Training Center. In this time, let's learn about how to cut remnant that is remain part after cutting. Let's find out what is remnant and how to make remnant cut. The remnant is remaining space of material after cutting. We call scrap which is the thing after cutting part, and to separate scrap and remnant, we use remnant cut. As shown in video, remnant cut is performed after cutting part. Then let's find out how to apply remnant cut. Nest all ports and make machining. Create remnant cut line with using automatic edge. Or draw the edge. That are functions drawing remnant cut line. Must make remnant cut line first before make machining. I'll explain icons of remnant cut. As automatic edges frequently use function which automatically choose type and draw remnant cut line. Is draw the edges manually draw remnant cut line by user. It is used sometimes drawing remnant cut edges unavailable by using automatic edge. But you need to input exact coordinates to draw precisely. So, drawing line manually is normally used to draw line roughly nearby existing parts. C is create remnant. This function is register created remnant to sheet list to manage remnant. D is delete the edge. This is deleting lines, which is drew by draw the edge or automatic edge. It cannot delete individually, but only deletes all remnant lines and batches. E. Delete is deleting created remnant, which is made by create. Now, let's find out detailed features of each function. First is automatic edge. Select type of remnant line in remnant line type to draw remnant line automatically. An offset between part and the line is how much offset will be made from part and remnant line. A minimum width, minimum x and y is the limit that not making remnant line smaller than set value. Next is type of remnant line. The frequently used type of remnant line is vertical, horizontal, vertical plus horizontal, minimum rectangle and irregular, To cut remnant line, make machining. After make remnant line, to make machining, use remnant line or remnant line manually in contours. Remnant line is automatically making machining in remnant line. And remnant line manually is make machining with selecting direction. Next is remnant management. Create remnant was exist before but it was hard to use because there was no function to make name of remnant. So only way was writing name on remnant by hand. Otherwise remnant management is not possible. Due to CAD CAM worker and operator cannot know which one is remnant. Check prompt for references with generating remnants. That in one of settings to write remnant name directly by user. Check automatic marking and click right icon to make settings for automatic marking. You can choose elements to mark in text. Normally selects references, size, material, and thickness. Once settings are made, it will mark on remnant with these. Height of one character means size of font. Automatic separations between characters is separating each character to recognize it easier. And red dot below is marking position. So click on desired position. After setting for remnant, marking is done. Click create remnants to make remnant. Then created remnant will show as green and name will be white. We recommend writing name in English and markings will be added on set marking position. When the remnants are made, please make machining of marking first with using all mark and contour after make part machining, and remnant line next. After machining is done, click save button, and go to sheet list that matches thickness and material. When created then created remnant will be registered.
and sheet list with remnant checkbox checked. Let's practice remnant function in program. Please make machining of marking first with using all mark in contour after make part machining. And remnant line next. After machining is done, click save button. And go to sheet list that matches thickness and material. When created then created remnant will be registered. If you want to delete created remnant, click delete. When no part should be nested in remnant, and click remnant edge to delete then remnant will be out of sheet list. When click save, we hope customer can manage remnant better with using create remnants. Explain again.
If you cannot use create remnants, an irregular part should be registered for nesting. You need to know how to register drawing as remnant. Use import to import drawings in drawing screen. Next, click Parts tab, click Remnants, and save the current remnant defined by user with a new name. An imported drawing will be registered as remnant. If customers are using drawings, due to remnant management is hard. Use this to easily register remnants. Until now, you've learned how to draw the edge, machining and remnant management. Remnant cut is essential function that is used by many customers, so please note these well. Thank you.